this video I will show you how to make the SD card more accessible in your projects so you don't have to unplug it uh, every time you need to read the things you got stored in it you just simply make it a USB disk which you can always access from your computer and get the data you have stored and also perhaps you can add a file to it and read some instructions from the SD card in your microcontroller. So let's get started with the project. Okay, so we start off with a basic project which has absolutely nothing in it, just the bare minimum. So we will need to add a few things like the delay routines the stack for the SD MMC using the SPI and also we probably need this and also the USB device with the mass storage option And a little trick, uh, you can generate the files for the SD MMC MAM by clicking right here, enable, and it should generate those files. If not, you can get them from uh, other examples. For now on, let's click apply. Okay, so now let's take a look at the uh, conf axis. And we have uh, this uh, enabled as we see here and as we go to the components memory and SD uh, we got those files of the mem right here generated okay so now let's uh, take a look in here and here we got the speed for the SD we can change it to something like ten megahertz okay let's try to compile Okay, no errors. Now let's go to the main. And now let's uh, add a few things. So let's start the USB by adding this function. And before that, let's start the SD. Okay, and let's uh, start the uh, slot zero. Okay. And now let's uh, go for the conf as the MMC. And let's take a look at the connections of the SPI. Now here. And as we see, uh, those don't match our board. So in order to get the correct ones, we will go to the SAM boards. And right here we got some definitions for the pins.
So we will use the chip select uh, zero, which is PA28. Let's copy the pins to the config of the SDMMC. And as you can see, uh, we have to change the names a little bit. Just like so. And we can erase those definitions. Uh, so those definitions go to the SDMMC uh, files in the memory. And we also need to add to the conf port that we will use the SPI0. And the chip select zero. Okay, so what this does in the init C file, it configures the pins. So in this case, those. And also the chip select zero. Okay. So now let's try to build the project again. Okay, it builds, but we still need to add uh, the function to run in the main loop for the USB mass storage transmissions. So let's uh, go to the drivers or maybe even to the common services and the USB. And in the class MSC, the H file, the MSC, we need to find the function we will use to run in the main loop for transmissions. So let's copy it right here. Okay, let's build it again. So everything's working correct. Let's now uh, flash the program to the board. So now I'm erasing the program, opening POSA, selecting port. And let's go to our application folder and select the pin file. Okay, uh, so now let's reset the board. And as you can see, we got uh, two USB disks and only the first one is uh, working. And this is because if we go to the conf access, we see uh, two devices actually for slot zero and slot one. And since we only configured uh, slot zero, only the first one is uh, uh, available disk. So it is uh, good to erase this one because only we see the valid one. And this one is not used. So let's go a little bit up. And right here, we got the enablings for the disks. So let's just disable this one. Okay, let's build it again. Okay, now let's erase the program. 
Okay, now let's select the port for programming, min file and write. Okay, now rest the port. And now we see only one disk popping up and it is the correct one. So now we can access the files we have and we can also add a few files to it. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one.